Hello, everybody. <laughs> I can't start it like that. It sure feels shaky. It does. This entire game feels a little shaky. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. My name is Paul. Welcome one and all. All right, so you remember from last time, uh, what did we accomplish? So it was pretty much just, excuse me, but you please stop checking me out. So last time, what did we get into? Last time, well, I think we just checked into the hotel. We met Gammy downstairs. Pretty much just that, and then our room, the ice machine, the elevator, we, uh, we've been very well acquainted with those. I mean, oh, that's right, we picked up some, uh, some flowers from our room. How nice. We'll need those later. What always bugged me is that back here, there's like a, looks like a whole nother wing of the hotel. So much stuff to do, but you can never ever get back there. There are some things to do around here, but right there isn't the place. That's the game's way of saying, nope, it looks interesting, but trust us, it's not. I don't think there's anything to do this way either, is there? Nope, nothing. Can we get ice? While you could press the button on the ice machine and cause ice to spill out all over La Castellata's expensive carpet, you won't. Um, yeah, I will. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to put my dick in the ice machine. The guests here prefer their ice clear instead of yellow. Game ruins all my fun. Well, let's go into exploration mode. Let's see, so we got a spare key for reasons that we don't know yet because we could, our room key and the flowers. But there's actually a lot to see. There's actually a few hidden things around here that yeah, unless you really know where you're going, you can get lost very easily. What is a kind of a small game world? This door bears a tiny brass plaque with a delicate La Castellata logo and the words Health Spa Lobby. Hi, Al. La Costellata furnishes an electric tram to shuttle its aged, tired, or lazy patrons around the hotel. I'm all three! Health Spa Lobby. Okay, that sounds like a good place to start as any. Prepare for stereotyping of the worst degree. Excuse me, sir. Is this where I get my spa towel? Yes, it is, handsome. May I please have your name? And room number? <laughs> My name is Larry, Larry Laffer, <laughs> and I'm in room, uh, say, wait a minute, exactly why do you want my room number? Why, so we can charge you for the towels you don't return. Well, okay, I guess. It's room 201, right at the top of the stairs. Feel free to drop in. Wait. Oh, goody! Not. Oh, wow, 90s retort. It doesn't seem like there are enough customers here to warrant a full-time towel attendant. Oh, I do more than this. Much, much more. Oh, I don't want to know. He's probably just the maintenance guy. Don't, don't even sweat it. Did I mention I want you in the worst way possible? Uh, that would be the worst way possible. What? What is it about Larry, my fine gentleman, that really makes him the attention of anyone's sexual desires? What is it? I don't know. I guess that's the way they thought that gay people acted in the 90s? Sure. Fetching Ascot, though. I gotta say, a sense of style is immaculate. Now, there are a few things I know we can do around here, specifically using our zipper. Um, if we want, this trickling water fountain really makes me have to go, and it's kind of better I don't use the ice machine. You never could resist the sound of running water. Nice trajectory. If you need any help with that, please let me know. Mm, no, I think I got it. Got two hands. Don't you worry, me and Bucephalus will be a-okay. Gary, the towel attendant, flits around behind the towel counter, straightening up things that are already straight and trying to unstraighten things that are straight. I'm pretty sure that joke went right over my head when I was younger. Uh, oh, I also just noticed uh, the health spa sign, barbells, barbells, yeah. Uh, there's some, some boobs right there. 90s. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, sweetie, I thought you'd never ask! Oh no, what have I done? And as Larry and Gary Ferry float off into the sunset together, we all think, 
What an ignominious end to a sterling career as the ultimate swinging I don't know, Larry. Maybe that's not exactly why you've been very successful with the ladies. Maybe you've been sort of betting for the wrong team the entire time. Oh, and there's a try again button. I did not know that. Maybe that's a new feature for the high res version. Uh, sort of the, the later versions of the game. I don't remember that. <laughs> this door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words Women's Locker Room. That happens for every single door. To you, this is the ultimate in forbidden fruit. Behind this door lies sights you've never even dared to imagine. Pink tile, sit-down urinals, lilac scent, and much, much more. Again, Larry, I think this is why you've been unsuccessful with the ladies. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words Cellulite Drainage Salon. Aha! All right, so that's where we have to go for Gammy. We'll go there later. I'll spare you the rhetoric, but that is the men's locker room. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words High Colonic Treatment Suite. That sounds a little frightening. That's usually your first stop because you don't need much to... There, there are kind of like rooms in this game that you have to win, I guess. And by winning, I guess you mean scoring. But all you need for this room, I believe, are the flowers you got from your room. So let's get a towel. Let's go ahead and finish up in here. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and knock that one out. Shall I just sign my name here in the registry? Oh, yes, please. And don't forget your room number, OK? There we go. Got myself a towel, and you don't want to forget one of these brochures. A rack of attractive advertising brochures rests on the counter. Printed on expensive paper filled with full-color photographs, the brochures advertise La Costellata's many services. All right, well, might as well know what we're getting into. You never can tell when I might want to learn what other wonderful features are available here at lovely La Costellata. Hey. How come my room doesn't look like the one in the picture there? And where are all those fabulous babes? And look, most of them are naked. Remember the fact that what's contained in that brochure is what it is because there are, uh, well, I'll well, show you when we get there. Let's go ahead and get this party started in our rectums. Hello, camouflaged over there. It's like, you can't even see her. She's The, the background is so busy. And why is there a, a chili pepper sitting? Never mind. Hello, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> um, are you going to say hello back or are you just going to strike a pose? And let's kind of stay there. Hi. You are up close and personal with Rosé Elita, one spicy little Spanish number who runs La Costellata's High Colonic Treatment Center. Those earrings are huge. You are up close and first. Okay, well, I can't get creepy with that. Let's see how creepy I can get. Tell me about her arms, because I just have like, a, I must have an arm fetish. Yeah, that's gonna be Larry's thing. With her slender left arm cocked jauntily on her hip, Rose Elita looks like a real little spitfire. Wait, you can actually look at each arm independently? Rose's right arm is permanently yes. cocked. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. I wonder if our aim is just so if we can look at her little beauty mark right there. Rosé's full pouting lips give her an air of youthful innocence, tinged with blossoming sexuality that brings to mind such coquettish young babes as Brooke Shields, Uma Thurman, and Amy Fisher. Wow, that really dates this game a lot. Okay, well, now with my arm fetish fully satisfied, hello. Welcome to La Castellata's High Colonic Treatment Suite, Mr. Laffer. Your presence here is welcome to me, Rose Alita, and your attendant person duty. Uh, thanks, Rose. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> You're in charge of haiku lyrics? Hokey dokey, it is, Laffer. Sometimes I understand not your English so good. You see, Rosé, very new in U.S. of A. From Spain, I have come just. Well, welcome, my Rosé little friend. Um, let's learn what a high colonic is, shall we? Hmm? How long have you been in this country, Rosé? Mm, maybe 3,000 miles. In country not far, but English speak good, no? 
Yes. Uh, no. Um, I mean, yes. It's perfectly serviceable. I can compl I can understand what you're saying wonderfully. You're, you keep the in you, Rosé. What brought you to America? Airplane. <laughs> Touché. But what I mean is, why did you leave Spain and journey all this way? Simply. To America I come to be an au pair for a pair of children. Au pair, huh? You must enjoy working with children, huh? No, making children much more to my liking. But give up tending children I did. Bad hours. Expect you to leave bed during night. Not rosé. When bed I go, I go for hours. Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Uh, I, I think she was innuendoing to something that you weren't quite picking up on, my friend Larry. Okay, so apparently rosé is here to start a family, but then she's like, then she had a baby, and she's like, this sucks, I gotta keep getting up in the middle of the night, screw that, so did she just like, it makes it sound like she abandoned her family back in Spain and ran off here to, uh, I don't want to presume, but Rosé, I think you're running away from your family, that's bad. Rosé, would you like to try a little something special with me? I consider myself quite the continental type. <laughs> Very sophisticated and uh, urbane. Just that nice. But where I come from, women expect gift before freebie. Say, this girl is continental. I believe I've just been propositioned, or I've just propositioned her, and she's like, okay, pay up, fool. I can understand how a woman might want a gift, <laughs> but um, what exactly would please you, Rosé? Just look around you, Lawrence. Tell my likes. You know you can. Hmm, I see. Why don't women ever give you a straight answer? I appreciate how she actually challenges you, and it's like, you can probably guess what I want. So let's take a look around. Mm, let's see, what do we see? Flowers, flowers. Oh, yeah, lots and lots and lots of flowers. But I'm more interested in what this gigantic machine is. Obviously, something goes on in this room that requires quite a bit of pressure. Well, this is super easy. And also, now, while this game... Let me get the flowers ready. While these, this game does have a lot of, uh, oh, problems with, uh, you know, depiction of women, depiction of you know, the queer community, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What I do kind of like about Rosé here is while she does imply that it's like, hey, give me a gift and I'll give you a freebie, she doesn't explicitly say what that freebie is. So I think Larry's expectations are going to kind of get the better of him here. Um, this will come into play. Perhaps you should look at her first. Nonsense. Here, take my flowers. I shove them into the back of your head. Hey, here you go, Rosie. I'd like to give you a little something special. I can see how much you enjoy flowers. Oh, gracias, Lawrence. They are most beautiful. I'll put them right over here. In the gigantic pile of my other flowers, which look much nicer. There we go. Oh, the music's fading. And in return, I'd like to give you a little something special, mi nuevo amigo. Hey, Larry, finally you're going to get lucky. And with this hot Spanish senorita, too. Please to examine closely the painting on the wall over there. I believe you will surely enjoy that which will follow. Larry, Larry, you trusting fool. I will make you experience feelings you never knew before. That wouldn't be hard. You will feel like a new man. Good, because the old man wasn't getting any. I really do appreciate this painting with a tree growing out of a gigantic pair of buttocks. Why am I looking at a painting? Why is she running that Harley with the carb too rich? Are you ready for a good time? Oh, I've been ready for 30 years. I'm all yours, Rosé. Okay, honey. Drop those pants. <laughs> Larry doesn't question anything. 
Finally, Larry! But shouldn't she at least dim the lights? Whoa! What's that? Rosé, uh, exactly what does high colonic mean? Brace yourself. Whoop! Yo! Ah! Yo! Ah! Isn't it wonderful? Am I right? Isn't it a feeling you've never felt before? Oh. She sounds Yow! almost evil in her intentions. Take it out, take it out. A few hours later? Oh my god. You are going to be the cleanest man inside and out. Oh god, the pool. Rosé, I've never felt more emotion in such a short period of time. Yes, I know. All my customers say that. But here, Lawrence, allow me to give you a little something in return. No! Not again! Oh, you silly! No! This! Why, Rosé! What a beautiful orchid! It's... it's... it's so... prom night! Thank you, Larry! Come back soon, so we can do this again, okay? You know, I don't feel pooped anymore. See? And also, you are not so full of sheet. What did she say? When are you gonna learn to stay away from women, sweetie? Well, I think we've learned an important lesson. We learned what a high colonic was. Evidently, Rosé is on break. She's locked her door. Oh, I thought we could go back in there and actually, like, check out the place and see all the little things you missed, but I guess this room is locked now forever. That's kind of sad, but we get a little orchid out of it, so we traded our bunch of crappy flowers for a really nice flower. You haven't seen an orchid since your high school prom. When you ended up with your own corsage the night she stood you up. Oh, Larry, that's so sad. So the way the game mechanic works is from memory anyway. So you go out and you try to lay every single girl in town, which never works. And you need items to do so. And then after you succeed or so-and-so, you get a little item in return. And these items come in handy at the very end, and you'll see why. But I think it's kind of cute in its own kind of way. Anyway, well, that's all we need here. To get into the health spot proper, we have to go through this whole big rigmarole, so we'll come back to that later. Let's go finish up looking around at the rest of the hotel. With any luck, we can actually kind of catch a ride on that little tram. Let's see what's down here. Aha! Oh, so uh, it's a beauty makeup class thing. At least that's what I assumed this was, because I see like there's TVs, there's people like fluffing their hair and doing makeup and stuff. Uh, she seems really obviously, uh, she's, she stands out more than the rest, because they are these other people are the same thing. Anyway, but is this like a makeup class, or is this where you just go to do makeup? I never quite understood. Oh, this one's... An electrical cord lies on the floor unused. Whatever ain't nailed down, that's the Sierra way. Mine. Could this be the missing cord? Pun not found. Abort. Retry. Fail. You take a closer look at the lovely young thing sitting at the right front makeup table. What's up, PYT? Wank. Well, hey, okay, well, you're supposed to be... Well, if you just want to kind of lay down on the makeup table, that works fine. I like the dress down look. That actually looks really comfy, just like the sweats and the sweatpants. Good job. Can we look at each one of your individual arms like everybody else? No doubt Chablis' arms are as delicate and feminine as her pert and perky nose and her full and winsome lips. Mm, didn't expect that to glean from just looking at the arm, but Tev's nice nails. Chablis is one beautiful human being. Perky, cute as a bug, a sharp dresser, lovely hair, perfect makeup. She's the girl you always wanted to take home to mother. Too bad mother moved without leaving a forwarding address. Oh, stood up at prom and abandoned by your mother? Larry, you tragic figure, you. I feel so bad for making fun of you for a minute. Good day, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in. You may call me Chablis. Chablis. I like it. I always thought that was kind of a cool name. I always remember Chablis because that used to be my mom's favorite wine whenever we went anywhere. 
I'm rather new around here. <clears throat> Have you been here long? Oh, not that long. Are you going to the big weight loss spring formal? Weight loss spring formal? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Sounds like a prom. Right you are, Larry. I've been searching everywhere for a new dress, but I just can't find one with that um, certain something I crave. Okay, well, we're getting right into it. So Chablis wants a dress. Deal. We can find you a dress, I'm sure. Shopping? Here? Where? I haven't seen a single store. Oh, they're here, all right. You're just not a shopper like me. My motto is, Veni, Vidi, Visa. I came, I saw, I shopped. 90s. So, uh, you'd like a new dress, huh? Oh, yes. If I could only find something brilliant, why, I'd... I'd... Yes? Hell, I don't know what I'd do. But what's the use? I'll just have to wear something old, I suppose. Not having a new dress to wear to the ball is so humiliating. Don't worry, Chablis. I know right where to find you a dress. Liar. I do know where to find a dress, don't I? All right, well, mission received. So that's pretty much all we can get out of Chablis until we find her a dress. Kind of a shame we don't get to learn anything more about her. I kind of liked how we learned, like, um, uh, what was it? Rose, roses? I just call her Rose. Her uh, full backstory. Stop. I don't care. Change interval. Yeah, stop bothering me. A woman sits at this desk, trying her best to ignore you completely. But you really don't care as your eyes are attracted to that dark-skinned beauty at the right desk in the front row. Now, I really want to know what this is. Is this just where you come to do your makeup? Or is this like an instructional class? It just seems like a really weird room. La Costellata's makeup classroom offers the latest in high-tech, non-interactive, overpriced video lessons in something all these women already know how to do. Well, okay, so that, that confirms it. So it is a classroom. I was confused because here's these TVs, which are, okay, so they're kind of crisscross. All right, I see what's going on. All around the makeup classroom, large monitors show a video entitled, Kiss and Makeup, the La Costellata Way. Ow. Oh. Why is that so gross? Uh, what, are you groaning at puns, Larry? You, really, dine fire. This kind of reminds me of a mixture between Larry and Conan O'Brien. Oh, there, there he is, hey. Excuse me, hey, hey driver, stop. You're talking to me? Come on, get on board. Well, I want to know. I want to know who you are. Okay. Hang on. Well, I guess we're going this way then. Whoop. Okay. Um, can we stop here? I want to get off now. I'd like to get off here, please. No problem. Please wait until the tram has come to a full and complete stop before exiting the vehicle. And thank you for riding Art's tram line. I'm actually kind of disappointed because. Art is definitely modeled after Al Lowe himself, but I don't think Al Lowe voiced him. I was kind of hoping with the voice version that Al Lowe would have done it. Well, maybe it was. I don't know how good, a vo how good a voice actor Al Lowe is. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with a delicate La Costellata logo and the words, Dining Room. Dining Room. Do it. I am a bit peckish. Lovely. Oh my god, this tile work. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. Blah. Puts me right off my lunch, of which there appears to be very little. Ooh. Ooh. Well, these guys are cooking up something nice. A window into the kitchen shows La Costellata's gourmet chefs preparing the next meal in a frenzy of activity. Well, where's the food now? What time is it? It's, it's got to be about lunchtime. If they're going to have like a full-time buffet, you might as well, you know, whatever. La Costellata's salad bar is presently nothing but off-color, half-melted ice. Come back at dinner time and it will be different. All right. Yeah, by then it'll be off color, fully melted ice. Oh, zing. However, you do notice a faint trace of color under one section of the ice. Ah, a hint. And it also appears that in every single room there are the hidden boobs. Can you find them? Can you find the hidden boobs in Wiener? Well, the Wiener's easy. There they are. I wonder if that's a, an actual thing. 
Does every room have like a hidden phallic symbol and breasts hidden in there? Let's keep our eyes open for that. That'd be adorable. Can I look at this ghastly linoleum? Oh, how cruel. La Costellata has placed gigantic graphics of extremely fattening foods on their walls while only serving cardboard flavored health food. But well, they're cooking like fruits and veggies back there. How bad could it be? Well, whatever. Let's see what that uh, splash of color was. Looking for something to suck, you grab a piece of dirty ice, but toss it back before you get sick. Mm, so it's not the pickup icon, I guess just the hand. There we go. Dig in there, buddy. Seeing a hint of color beneath the ice, you dig away until you uncover a fresh orange left over from breakfast. It seems to be in surprisingly good shape. It's like a perfect orange. Yes, I'll take it. Ah, I might as well take this orange. You never know when a guy might want something to uh, suck on. And I do appreciate with the inventory that every piece has a little dot in it so you know where the center point is. So that's where you click it. Like there's that little red dot there. There's a yellow dot on the orange, the red dot here. Um, oh, even like the regular icons have it. Like if you're clicking, you know exactly where the hotspot is. That's a nice touch right there on the index finger, the middle of the eye and where the penis would dangle. From here, it looks exactly like a woman's hoop skirt. So, of course, you have to sneak a peek underneath it. What do you see? Nothing? Nothing? Oh, okay. I didn't even get the hoop skirt reference and that just looked like it's, yeah. Oversized graphics of junk food is a rather cruel joke to play on patrons of a health spa. I noticed the writing in this game is not as good as the last couple, but eh, whatever. Can I sneak back into the kitchen? Yes. Wait a minute. Gourmet French chefs. Sneaky, sneaky. Why look, the chefs that appeared to be working so hard from out there in the dining room are nothing more than a rear projection movie. Can I play with it? You don't need a 35 millimeter projector because you've got an eight millimeter sprocket. Is that a dick joke? I think that's a dick joke, it's probably a dick joke. So this, is a, so this is what we're actually having out there instead of health food, we're actually eating it out of a taco truck? How'd they get the truck in here? Why those cheap corporate bastards? La Costellata is supposed to be a health spa, and all they do is feed their customers fast food from a roach coach. And evidently the truck has been here quite a while. One of its tires is flat. Mm, all right, I'm guessing you pointed that out to me for some reason. This tire has plenty of high pressure air inside. All right, you're being really specific about the air. What's this little foot pedal down here? Is that what turns the sink on? La Costellata's kitchen looks nothing like you expected. There are no chefs anywhere in sight, but there is a large taco truck parked here. I wanna know what this is. While you would like to whip yourself up a good meal, this kitchen is almost empty. There are some garbage cans here, though, if you are interested in dumpster diving. Uh, yeah, you bet. That's how I furnished my first apartment. Of course, digging through the trash is always a good idea in an Al Low game. Damn straight. What do we got? Hey, look! Somebody threw away a five-gallon can of lard. Can I... Lard? Okay. I'll take it. So, one big bucket of lard, that's all for me. In my pants it goes. Five gallons of lard should come in handy if you're planning to do a lot of baking. Well, what's this if that's the lard? Is this like a bucket of topsoil? You already have the lard, and there's nothing else in here worth taking. All right, no problem. Uh, how about this butcher's knife? That looks important. This is not another hack and slash game. Not even Larry Kruger, Friday the 13th at La Costellata. Well, that's disappointing. How about the uh, fridge? It says the, it's empty, but look, there's obviously like, there's bananas and lots of boxed goods. Four large refrigerators nearly fill the wall. Some idiot left one of the doors wide open. Oh. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, I'll remember that's there. Dumb waiter. The dumb waiter on the far wall is used to deliver meals to the hotel's penthouse apartment. I'm pretty sure we can go up there and use that, but there's not really any point to it just yet. Not just yet. We'll save the dumbwaiter for later. There's actually, I believe there's a lot we can do in here, but not yet. Not yet. All right, which way were we coming from? I think, yeah, we're going this way because we got the tram. So let's see, there's the pool down here. I kept forgetting that these little stairs were even here. This is where I kept getting stuck. So this is interesting. So he whips up the drinks. The bar, the, the waitress rather, swims down and gets it, and then brings it 
but they're not covered. Uh, they're... So this pool is mostly alcohol now? Welcome to La Castellata's Blues Bar. A full-service bar is available to meet all your refreshment needs. Comfortable seating is offered in a relaxed, contemporary atmosphere. And, of course, the best in entertainment is yours to enjoy 24 hours a day. Except not. I don't see anybody here. Okay, let's test that theory. Let's see if we can find the hidden phallus and breasts. Uh, well, there's the ph there we go. There's the phallus. That's an easy one. The bananas and the tomatoes, maybe. Don't see anything else, but we'll keep our eyes open for it. Let's see how sharp-eyed you are. And speaking of sharp-eyed, what's this? The side of the tub of matches says, for our matchless friends. Oh, I get it. Funny, that phrase was tried even in the 70s. Well, I get it. I think it's adorable. Matchless, if you don't have a match, take one. And if you're there by yourself, if you don't have a date, you're single, you don't have your match, I think it's cute. Boy, free matches. Well, but I'm going to strike it on. They give me a match, but, you know, give me, at least give me the whole match book. I could really use a whiskey. Me too, buddy boo. I'm sorry, but the closest thing we have is sproutberry juice. Oh no, it's it's the it's a health bar. Exactly what sort of beverages do you serve here? Hey, I make a superb king alfalfa, or perhaps a broccoli and non-brand name cola. Hey, what about a zucchini wall banger? A zucchini wall banger. Yuck. How about a mineral water? Nope, fresh out. Got some pool water though, but it's a little creamy. Creamy? The bar has a plentiful supply of healthy beverages. Poor Sapo Japanese flavored rice near beer. Zimziti clear malt wine alcohol free cooler. Dom Perrier champagne flavored mineral fluid. <laughs> Clearly Utah salt flat sparkling seltzer in regular or extra flat and salty. <laughs> and chameleon multi schnapps, the schnapps that taste different on every woman who wears it. There's a couple references there I didn't quite get, but whatever. I want to sing. Is this like a karaoke bar? Can I just go up there and jam? Burgundy's microphone stand is tall, slender, cylindrical, and it can extend in length to well over five feet. Bam! Like you don't have enough of an inferiority complex. Larry, only you can get an inferiority complex from a freaking microphone stand. And who's Burgundy? We haven't met Burgundy yet. You decide to hop up on stage and let your star quality shine through. All right, let's do this. Check. Check. Sibilance. Check. Fortunately for you, the microphone is dead. Aw. Lame. Can I go backstage? I can. Nothing back there. All that's down there is a little porthole and a bunch of uh, ropes and stuff. The backstage area is filled with interesting technical equipment. All of which is beyond your comprehension. Um, it's a rope and pulley. I think you can figure that out. All right, well, there's not that much else to do in here, but there are a few fun little deaths. And by few, I mean one. Why does that door exist? Next time, try entering the swimming pool from upstairs. Oh, and it does have the try again button. That's so nice. Well, we'll let the game over song play at least once, but... It's pretty long. All right, well, we can check out the pool area if we like, but there's nothing we can do there just yet, so we'll come back to that later. All the hotel room doors are exactly alike. They all bear a tiny brass plaque with a delicate La Costellata logo and the room number. Oh, all right, they were going to make them say that for every single room. This little brass plaque bears the delicate La Costellata logo and the number 401. <laughs> This sculpture is a rare example of the fine carving skills of the now extinct African tribe from the Lac Kanuki region of Mozambique. Lac Kanuki region of Mozambique. It doesn't sound like that's made up, is it? Well, I found reference to the Makonde people of Mozambique who are known for making sculptures, but it sounded like it said Lac, Lac Kanuki or something? Oh, it said Lac Kanuki region. But I don't think they're an extinct tribe. I'm reading way too much into this. And here we are to the outer limits. This looks like the employees only. That leads up to the pool, I believe. I forget what goes down here, though. Let's go to the beach. Oh, outside. Oh, can I just, like, walk to town? Halt! Who goes there? No. It's me, Larry Laffer. <laughs> I was just going to walk to town, find a swinging disc attack, 
pick up some single babes. You know, just normal kind of resort stuff. That's what you think, fella. No one's allowed to leave the premises of La Costa Lotta without checking in with me here in the gatehouse. Well, can I? Uh, well, can, sir? That's Daryl, the gate guard. Don't let his amiable looks deceive you. Beneath that sugared exterior lies a heart like a jelly donut. Excuse me, sir. Is this the way out of the spa? Maybe, maybe not. Who's ice skin? It's me, Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> I'd like to leave this place and head into town. You know, hit a few of the swinging singles bars, dance to some cool disco music, hit on some better chinks. <laughs> Well, I don't have to tell you. You look like a swinger yourself. Swinger? Leave? Oh, let me check my roster. No way, Laffer. You ain't getting by me. You just go right back into your room and get with the program. Now I'm warning you. But why am I not allowed to leave? This is why you have a gatehouse, is it not? Can I not go to town and like just go hang out and go shopping or anything? There must be some sort of misunderstanding. I'm a guest of the famous TV show, Stallions. I was kind of a winner. You probably saw me on the show right here on one of your TVs. Stallions? <laughs> no, can't be. What do you mean, can't be? because I know Shallow, the assistant producer of the Stallions, personally. She always arranges these freebie deals herself. Nope, <laughs> it can't be. Great, so because I wasn't cleared with Shallow, I can't, I'd not, am I like an illegal guest? Am I gonna get in trouble? Um, Shallow was very busy after the show. <laughs> she had to leave quickly on a cruise with the other guy on the show. <laughs> I'm sure she just forgot to tell you. Don't know nothing about cruises or busy. No, you can't get out until I get a paid receipt. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I'm technically kind of sort of undocumented, so I can't actually leave because I don't have a receipt for my stay. Back inside with you, Laffer. And don't try to sneak past me. I have ways of making you sorry if you get my drift. He 100% means it. There are no empty threats from this guy. But now, it's been a while since I saved, so let's test out the whole try again feature. Go for your gun, partner. Would you mind if I picked you up and carried you around all through the spa, wherever I go? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? What are you, some kind of nut? I thought if you went for his gun, then you could like, oh well, whatever. Can I still get it? Without thinking twice, without blinking an eye, without moving from his stool, Daryl raises one solitary finger and suck. Well, I wonder if that's what they meant to do. Like, that's the joke. If you try to steal his gun, he's like, he raises a finger and ends the game. I don't think so. All right, let's see if we can actually get this to work this time. Okay, so it works. And he launches a surface-to-surface -surface missile straight up my butt. Okay, yeah, the game's telling you that you're screwed. The game's telling you that no, no, no. And right up the butt. Could a missile up your butt be considered police brutality? Nah. I wonder why they changed that to brutality to poli and just cut out the police brutality part. A little too politically correct if you ask me. Well, good to know that actually works. And I think you can, you need his handcuffs at some point. So we need a way to distract him. We can't actually leave. We can't actually get past him. But good to know. We'll uh, we'll come. We'll jump that bridge when we get to it. But I think there's some more back here. Yeah, there's like this little garden area, which is actually very pretty. Some beautiful red flowering plants decorate this shady, peaceful cliffside clearing. And I got stuck with Rose like when I was playing this game a couple of years ago, just kind of you know for fun. And I thought this is where you're supposed to get the flowers for Rose, but you can't. Try as you might, you can't pull up that shrubbery. Apparently, its tap root is longer than oh, yours. Oh, stop it. But, yeah, you can only use the flowers from your room. And then down this little boardwalk is the beach. And you can make little sandcastles and everything. It's great. Since nobody's watching, 
I could build a sand castle right here. Hey, what's this? While your sand castle will win no prizes, your diggings have revealed an ancient whale oil lamp buried in the sand. Well, look at that! I'd better cover this up before anyone sees how dorky it looks. It's almost like I knew where to dig. Well, I think if you click anywhere, you only click in that one spot, and then you, yeah, you find this ancient whale oil lamp. The old whale oil lamp's wick is still usable, which may not be the case with you, Larry. That's just a stretch. All right, well, this is a pretty successful little outing, so I think we explored, except for the pool area, and I think the gym. Oh, yeah, that's right. We still have to go past uh, Gary and get into the, uh, the workout area and everything. There's actually a lot back there, like... Pretty much we saw about half of it so far. But yeah, we got the ancient whale oil lamp, which we could probably sell on eBay or whatever the uh, 1990s equivalent of eBay is and make ourselves a ton of money. An ancient whale oil lamp dug up for however long? Get that thing appraised, Larry. I think you're sitting on a gold mine and all kinds of stuff. We got to meet Rosé, but we'll meet on that next time. Bird! A lovely turn flies by lazily overhead. That wasn't as entertaining as I thought it would be. So, we'll pick up next time, we'll get back into the gym area, and we can meet pretty much everybody else, because that's where pretty much everybody in the game, that's where most of the game takes place, now that I think of it. But that's for next time. So, until then, as always, a good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.